So we're going to take a look now at how to actually get some scores into here. So we've got some information on the spreadsheet about what the students actually answered. We need to convert that into scores. Now it's likely you already have a scoring system that may even be written on the rubric that you gave to your students, but uh, I'm going to just make some assumptions in this case about how much each of these things is worth, and you can do the same in your, ca in your own case, just insert your own values for however much you think each thing is worth. But here's how we're going to do this. Uh, we're going to set up some formulas that take a look at the value in each of these cells, whether it's exemplary, proficient, needs improvement, or whatever else you decided to rate your students on. And it's going to generate a number based on whatever's in here. So the first thing I want to do is create a new column over here. And this is where the number that corresponds to that value is going to go. Now, and you'll see in a minute why we actually need two or three columns, but I'm going to start with just one. Now, for this, I'm going to use a new formula. So remember, we're going to press the equal sign to open up our formula editor. And then the formula I'm going to use this time is called sum if. So the sum if function takes a look at an equation or a variable or something, and it sums it up, it adds the numbers up, and it determines if a condition is true. Now in this case, we don't even need to do some summing, but this uh, function just seems to work a little bit better than the if function, so we're just going to use this. So there are three parameters we need to put in here. And the first one is the data to look at uh, to determine whether a condition is true. So I'm going to click right here because this is what I want to be looking at. I'm going to determine whether a condition is true by looking at this cell. Next up is the condition. So the condition in this case is, does that say exemplary? Now, what we're going to have to do here is just put in the word exemplary in quotes. Okay, so it's going to be looking to see if the value of that cell is the word exemplary. And the last of the three uh, parameters is what to do if that statement does actually turn out to be true. And what you're going to put in here is the result val uh, value. So however much an exemplary is worth, that's what you're going to put in here. So in this case, I'm going to say an exemplary is worth 20 points. I'll finish out my parentheses. And then when I press enter, I get a value of 20 because this says exemplary. Now if this said something else, like proficient, that value would be zero. If this said exemplary and it was spelled wrong, that would say zero. It has to be exactly the right value. In this formula, I, I asked for the word exemplary. So that's what we need to see if we want that value to show up. Now, we actually have three different possibilities here. This could be exemplary, but it could also be proficient or needs improvement. So I'm going to need another column for each one to check for that value. So in this next column, I'm going to look for, with my sum if function, I'm going to check this cell. That's my first parameter, is which cell to look at. I'm going to look for the word proficient. My next parameter is what to look for. And then my last parameter is what to do if we find it. And so proficient is going to be worth 15. Finish out my parentheses, press enter. Now you notice that says zero because we did not score proficient right here. If we said proficient, my values change. This no longer says 20 because this, this isn't exemplary, but this now says 15 because this is proficient. And we'll do the same over here for needs improvement. So make a formula, sum if. We're going to look at this cell right here. We're looking for needs improvement. And if it needs improvement, it's going to be worth 10. So depending on what the value of this cell is, it's either going to be exemplary, which is a sum of 20, proficient, which is a value of 15, or needs improvement, which is 10. So all three of these cells will add up to whatever the right point value is for this um, thing right here. Now I'm going to do the same across all of these. I'm going to add three uh, columns for each of these columns. So for this next column, I'm going to add one, two, three. And for the next one after that, I'll add one, two, three, and so on across the whole project. Now you start to see why we start to uh, want to hide columns because it just gets to be a lot. So I'm going to add three columns after each one. 
because there are going to be three possible point values for each one. Now, I'll skip a few of them, and then I'll fill the rest in later, but let's look at these last couple. These last couple are going to be worth 10 points instead of 20 points. So, in this case, I would do exactly the same formulas. Looking at this cell, looking for this value. But this time, it's going to be worth 10. So I'll go with 10 for exemplary. Maybe 7 for proficient. And then 5 for needs improvement. Same exact formula, slightly different values. So now if I change that text here to proficient, now it's worth 7. If I change this to needs improvement, now it's 5. Obviously, I'll change that back to what it originally was. But you get the idea. So you can set whatever point values you want for each possible res um, each possible score for the student. Now, once you've set this up, and like I said, I'm going to fill in the whole rest of the thing later, you can just take these three values and you can drag them down like we did before. And now it's doing all those calculations for you. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in the rest of this and then I'll show you how to get the final score. Okay, so now that I have my whole table filled in, I'm ready to calculate some totals. So what I'm going to do is run right over to the end, make another column just for my score, call that score. And then in here, I just need to add up all the values that I calculated. So the cell for the uh, formula for that is going to be called sum. It's a nice simple one. And so the sum we're going to get is of all of these numbers. So I'll just highlight all of them. And you'll see numbers assembles a nice formula for me. All I have to do at the end is finish up on those parentheses, and I am good to go. So I've got all my values in, finish up the parentheses, and there's my score. And if I were to drag this all the way down this column, now that same formula takes place over all those columns, but it changes a uh, row depending on which row you're in. So you can see when you click on each one, which values are being looked at. Now, we're all done calculating our score, but there's one last problem, which is that we have all this extra data in our table that we want to get rid of. So all we're going to do now is hide it. We're not going to remove it. We're just going to get it out of our view so we don't really have to look at it. So what I want to do is just highlight all of the columns that include data we don't really want to look at. And what I'm going to do is use my Shift key and my Command key to highlight more than one thing at a time. So if you hold down Command and start clicking on things, you can highlight or unhighlight one thing at a time. Or if you uh, hold Shift, then you'll get everything from what you clicked on before to what you Shift clicked on. So if I hold Command and click on W, I click on only W. If I now hold Shift and click Y, now I get everything from W all the way through to Y. So I'm just going to go ahead and select all of those columns that I don't want to see. And I can just right click, and go to hide selected columns. And now all the columns are still there for the purposes of calculation, but not visible, so they're not getting in our way. I might even make all of these columns a little bit smaller so that I can see everything very quickly and easily. I'm not supposed to do all of them. There we go. So now I can see everything really easily. And that's my whole table with my scores calculated. Now, if you had comments included on your form while you were grading, which is something I usually do, I didn't do it this time, but if I had comments in my form while I was grading, then there would be another column here for comments. And there would be some comments in here. Oops, made another one by accident. Now that'll play in when we start to move things over into iPass. But you're basically going to have all your scores in a column, all your comments in a column, and they all line up with all the student data right over here.